to Sunday Fun Day. Today we're filming in the church. So this week is our last week looking at superheroes of the Bible because next week is half term. And on Wednesday, the day after Pancake Day, it's the start of Lent. Now Lent is usually a time when we prepare ourselves and get ready uh, for the Easter story. And we do that sometimes by giving something up or sometimes by starting something new. So maybe there's something that you'd like to think about, maybe giving up or an idea or something or a hobby that you'd like to start new in these next 40 days in the lead up to Easter. Whatever it is you choose to do for Lent, you can remember that actually God has given you every super strength that you need in order to do it. So today we're looking at the story of Mary. Now you might think, why are we looking at the story of Mary when it's not even Christmas? But Mary was a real superhero of the Bible. She had real super strength that came from God. And we're going to learn a bit more about her now. God sent the angel Gabriel to visit a young woman. Her name was Mary. She was scared. She had never seen an angel before. Gabriel said, don't be afraid. You are very special to God. You will become pregnant and give birth to a son. You must name him Jesus. He will be called the Son of the Most High God. Mary asked, How can it be so? I'm not married. Gabriel answered, With God, all things are possible. Mary said, I love God. I will do what he has chosen me to do. After Jesus had been born, some shepherds heard the good news. Some angels appeared to them and told them all about Jesus. They hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen Jesus, they spread the word concerning what had been told to them about this child. And all who heard were amazed at what the shepherds said to them about Jesus. But Mary treasured up all these things and thought about them in her heart. Wow, didn't Mary have such super strength? Such an amazing story, and not just for Christmas time. So a bit like Mary, we've got things that sometimes we treasure in our hearts and we want to keep in our hearts, or things that we just want to keep just between us and God. And in today's craft, we're going to be making these little treasure boxes. And what we're going to do is inside, you can write something um, that you want to keep just between you and God and treasure it like you're treasuring it in your heart. Now, it might be a prayer that you want to share with God, or it might be uh, something you want to tell him, a secret that nobody else knows, or it could be uh, just something you hope for. So what we're going to do is we're going to write the things down, put them in our treasure box, and then if you want to, you can bury it. Now, I'm going to bury mine in my garden, so that in a few weeks or a few months' time, I can dig it back up again and, and be reminded uh, of the things I wanted to share with God because God loves it when we share things with him and we don't always have to do it in a big way. Sometimes, like Mary, we can just treasure the things in our hearts or in our treasure box. Okay, so I'm gonna bury mine now. Okay, so I'm gonna dig a little hole. Hopefully the ground will be nice and soft because it's been so wet and snowing. Now the important thing when you're burying something like this is to remember where you've put it. So once I've buried it, I'm going to put something on top so that I remember where it is. Okay, now that's probably deep enough. I'm going to pop it in there. Keep it safe. And only me and God know what's inside. I find that quite exciting. Because God loves to be our friend. And he loves to know things. And he loves it when we share things with him just between us and him. Right, I think that's well buried. Now I better get something to, so I know where it is. And I think I'm going to put this stone, this stone here, right there. And hopefully that won't be moved. So in a few months time when I come back to unbury it, or dig it up as they say, I'll know where it is. Great. Okay, so here is how you can make and decorate your treasure box. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. 
Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hands. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hands. He's higher than a skyscraper and he's deeper than a submarine. He's wider than the universe and beyond my wildest dreams And he's known me and he's loved me since before the world began How wonderful to be a part of God's amazing plan Our God is a great big God Our God is a great big God Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hands Starting on Sunday, the 24th of February, we're going to be looking at the run-up to the Easter story. Everyone in Sunday Funday is going to get an Easter comic, and each week we're going to look at a different story from it. Hope you can join us. Okay, so now I'm going to hand over to Karen, who's going to lead us in our prayers. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we have heard today how Mary, the mother of Jesus, was super brave when the angel appeared to her to tell her that she was going to have a baby. She was terrified, but you gave her super strength and she said yes. When we are frightened, help us to be super brave like Mary. When God told Joseph in a dream to get up and take Mary and baby Jesus to Egypt, Mary would have been upset and frightened, but you gave her super strength and she went to Egypt. When we have to do things that we don't want to do or to go somewhere where we don't feel safe and we're upset, help us to be super brave like Mary. When Jesus was crucified because people do the wrong things, Mary was there and she would have been very, very unhappy to see her son die on a cross. God gave her super strength to cope with her sadness. When we are sad, When we lose someone we love, or they are ill, help us to be super brave like Mary. Amen. Shall we say the Lord's Prayer together? Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Thanks so much for joining with us these past few weeks as we've looked at superheroes of the Bible. I really hope you've enjoyed it and learnt some things along the way. Hope you have a really blessed half term and look forward to seeing you when we start back. Take care. Bye.